Hello, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot, and we're getting ready to do a general love reading for the sign of Leo. So let's, Leo, what is going on in your love life? Let's see what we have here. Let's see at the bottom of the deck, the energy moving away from a difficult time, something that was painful, seeing the truth of the matter and moving forward. You are holding back currently. You know, the Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Um, you just are being very self-protective right now after a time of healing. Oh, look at this Leo, happily ever after. This is Pisces energy, and it's all about having a loving, happy, joyful, long-term committed relationship. It's about the stability that, that love brings into your life when things are good. So you have a very powerful love reading here. So in the recent past, the energy between you and a lover is a three of coins. Working together, being a team, creating a foundation, doing the work. This is basically the card that says, you know, hey, let's, let's paint the living room. Let's go do something. Let's go on vacation. Let's do something that will be creative and something that will produce results because it's Capricorn energy. The current mutual energy between you and your person is that both of you are looking inside. You are searching for answers. Hermit energy, Virgo, how do I get what I want? So even though you're both in this energy of thinking on your own about what you want, it is oddly enough mutual energy because you need those answers. You're seeking enlightenment. It's a... Uh, Again, a, pow a very powerful energy when we talk about coins. We have the three and the four of coins. And so those are problem-solving energies. And the hermit is Virgo energy, the virtual uh, problem solver of the zodiac. And you're both in this energy together. Uh, and I'm not even sure that you know that you're in this energy together, Leo. I don't think you're both aware of it, but you're both sort of processing things the same way. The Four of Swords, how your person views the situation right now between the two of you, a time of healing. So Four of Swords is Libra energy, trying to find the space of finding your way back to each other or healing. It can be physical healing. It can mean that one of you has been having a difficult time physically, but your person is seeing that this is a time of paying attention to your heart, being in the nest with you, feeling as though both of you have been through a tough period of time. And of course, we're going to clarify everything. How they view you, they view you as moving have, you know, moving forward very rapidly in your life, Leo. Your person sees you very much in the energy of having really fighting the battles of life, pushing ahead. This is the emperor who always drives a chariot card. It is Cancerian energy. It looks as though your person sees you as someone who's fighting for hearth and home. I like to call this the honey, I'm home card because... They see you as a person who's racing in to be at home in their relationship, Leo. They feel as though, you know, you're very interested in moving the relationship forward. In their heart space, they are feeling left in the cold. So, Leo, there's something about an event or a situation in your relationship that looks like it has caused your person a lot of pain. Five of Pentacles, uh, I, didn't, I said Five of Swords, I'm so sorry. Five of Pentacles is your person has the key right here to open up the door. So this is much more of a, an outlook card, and I think you see your person feeling wounded. I think you see your person holding back now. I feel as though at an earlier time in the relationship, there was a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, and now, you know, in this reading, we're seeing that your person is really not very optimistic about how much you love them. We get the page of coins. The page of coins is your person doing little things to show you that they care, taking actions, not really putting themselves out on the limb too much. They're not taking big risks in love with you. Uh, they feel like it might be, you know, that you might be headed to somebody else's home. You know, honey, I'm home might be taking place in another arena. And so your person is just uh, taking things day by day. 
you know, they are trying to build in the relationship or rebuild because with a page, we're looking at a rebuilding of a relationship as opposed to a new offer from what I can tell. The mutual energy that's hidden between the two of you, you're both King of Swords energy, Aquarius energy. This is the energy that says that you're being very intellectual, very sort of Dr. Doolittle at peace, you know, with all the messages around you, taking them in filtering through them. I love that the King of Swords has a man bun, which cracks me up. But it's somebody who feels very comfortable in their own skin. And both of you feel very comfortable in your own skin. But you are looking for the messages. We, we look at the owl and oftentimes we think of the owl as the card of wisdom. But actually it's the crow who brings us the most potent messages, as we can see by the elevated uh, crow on the post higher than all the other birds but it does look like you have a lot of messages coming in and this is very much sort of a, a counter uh, energy you know they're like both sides of one coin being alone feeling about things and looking for messages on the flip side spirit is saying that right now there is a tower in the works. There's a sudden change that's about to come about that's going to break open, sort of like when you crack an egg, you know, that it's time to really come up with the answer. Spirit is saying that the foundation of this relationship needs to be rebuilt, that it can't exist the way it is. And so it speaks to the fact with this uh, I'm having a hard time speaking. It's 4 a.m. in the morning in Chicago. Sorry. So we see the crack of the lightning bolt is that moment. It's that like that burst, that electrical current that hits the tower that gives you that jolt of electrical sort of a download that things are going to break apart if they don't change. We get the energy as your outcome at this time. Aw, new beginning in love, Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups eventually ends in the Ten of Cups. So your outcome card is that both of you are feeling very much loving each other. A lot of tenderness, a lot of deep felt, you know, heartfelt love. So let's go ahead and see what we have for the clarifiers for you, Leo. So why do we have, what brought about the Six of Swords energy? What is it that the two of you are healing from in this overall energy of this relationship? I'm not going to be reading reversals, so I'm going to flip these cards around however they come out uh, to be upright. So, okay, so let's see what we have here. We have, okay, we have the Eight of Cups. So it does look like at some point one person moved away from the other. It could be happening now, you know, but it does show that there is healing that is taking place after someone um, walked away, somebody felt like things weren't going well. But that makes sense because we often heal relationships after there's been a situation, and that's what it looks like. So we get the energy of the movement of cups, very nice energy. This is a page of cups offering that cup of love. So what I see is in the past, there's been healing, either your partner or you. These can be vice versa, okay? But it does look like there's healing after healing after somebody walked away that you're holding back even though there's a new cup of love on the table, page of cups. We get the energy of the the um excuse me the movement of cups is a knight of cups so it does look like a romantic offer is being made but it does look like it hasn't made been made quite yet we your person basically or you feel the need to be more romantic more open with your emotions to excuse me have this relationship really work out now we have the page of cups so there is an, a small offer of love being made. Now, clearly this relationship has already advanced a lot because we have, you know, eight of cups, I mean, eight of cups energy, which is getting to know each other. So I would say this is a relationship of duration. We have the strength card. Leo, that is you in your reading. You're the one who's the glue that holds a relationship together. Uh, both of you feel this infinity symbol that you have this relationship that neither one of you 
uh, would like to end. Both of you have fire in your belly. You are both determined to make this work, and you certainly have the strength and the courage to do the work, to make it work. So we have the spirit of cups as a clarifier. So the energy here is that both of you love each other very deeply, but you're not really speaking about it. There's a profound sense of deep love and admiration for each other with that Scorpio King. But again, Scorpio King is often depicting to us an ending and a new beginning. So this whale is just, you know, leaping out of this water, like literally to offer this cup of love. But it's very subdued. It's very quiet. It's more covert. You definitely know what's being unspoken, what's been unspoken in terms of love and the relationship and both of you have that energy the four of swords this energy of healing what is it about yep healing love so it is about healing and wanting a an ace of cups energy um healing enough to have a new beginning in love mirroring that energy so what do we have here okay the chariot card honey i'm home so your person sees you as someone who may break things off with them. Your person is feeling unstable. They think that this could go any possible way with you, Leo. They're not so sure that you aren't going to break up with them. Let's see what else we have. Movement of wands. The reason they see that is they think that you're exhibiting some Sagittarius player energy. Okay, what else do we have? We have the innocence of wands, which is they see you as playful. They see you as charismatic. They see you as somebody who doesn't want to take something serious with them. They're, they're really, they feel as though you love them. They feel as though they love you, but they don't necessarily think that there is stability at all in this relationship, which has them feeling like it's only a matter of time before you leave them in the cold. The five of coins is clarifying the five of coins. Wow. Could that be any more profound, my friends? That is a very deep, painful energy that your person is experiencing. That's abandonment. You know, on the mundane, in practical life, that would be just absolutely being abandoned. So that's how your person feels in their heart space. The Heart of Swords, they're trying to be very Judge Judy, Libra Queen. They're trying to be intellectual, cool, aloof. They're trying to accept it. I think your person has accepted this. I think that it just would not come as any surprise to them at all. And they, they're half anticipating it, which is never a good energy is when someone in the relationship is anticipating that you might break off with them. The Fool card, your person does want a new beginning with you, but they want, they're going to be very, very subdued in this effort, okay, Leo? I'm seeing them feeling very much this, I want, you know, the Fool card is a happy, joyous, joyful, uh, throw caution to the winds, let's go out there and have an adventure together, and it will start out small. That's what your person's going to offer the death card okay i like this actually the death card is coming in as the end to anything that you've been waiting to hear there is going to be clarity there's going to be a clarification what is this likely to tell you ah the lover's card so again we have a more mature relationship here and we have our you've already gone through a process of separation at some point and so when we get the death card, it is death and rebirth. But the interesting thing about it is that whatever is dead is reborn. And it's so important to remember that because if the relationship had a breakup, it was dead. Now it's reborn and it's reborn clarified by the lover's card, making the choice, seeing one another as soulmates, seeing one another. The answers are coming to both of you that this relationship uh, is very powerful, very powerful. And again, I would say that when we get the Four of Swords, 
and we get the energy of the death card with the tower card, you know, it can indicate some sort of surprise news that has impacted the relationship and it has set about healing, physical, emotional, however, take it as it resonates, but it does, it's a very meaningful set of cards. So what we see with the tower card is five of cups. So spirit is saying that your person is going to most likely give you a surprise apology that that needs to happen in this relationship to rebuild the relationship. And it looks the five of cups. We have a crow. Crows are truth tellers. And so we see a heart that's blue after a lot of shake up, break up energy. And that's the apology that's coming in that starts to really heal this relationship. Oh my God, reconciliation. A declaration is soon made to the fact that your person really wants temperance, to work things out, to balance things out, that the things that happened in the past that were painful, that hurt both of you, you know, that left you feeling stunned, I, it's uh, that, that had someone who walked away. This temperance card is, honey, I'm home, and I'm home big time. Now, there is an exhaustion in this love relationship. The Four of Cups is when you feel a little skeptical, that you feel like, oh, yeah, I'll see it, I'll believe it when I see it. But it is also a card of pure exhaustion. And given the Four of Swords, and given all of this sort of tumultuous energy that has happened in the relationship, it is. I mean, it makes sense. But look at the outcome. The outcome is the hermit energy or the, the virgin, Virgo, virgin, Virgo, the virgin energy of a fresh new start. And the movement of coins is the Knight of Pentacles moving very slowly, very steadily. You can't throw a buffalo, you know, off. I mean, they, when they start to move in a direction, it's very powerful. Look at the growth that is going to happen in this relationship. So the consideration, also Virgo rules the house of health. So there is kind of a recurring theme here of um, some instability possibly for someone out there. But we get this very powerful energy of movement forward. We have the lion hearted here and the buffalo, those energies. And we also have this panther energy on the lookout for solutions and answers with that Aquarius enlightenment. So I really like this reading for you. I think it foretells a very beautiful uh, reconciliation, healing, confirmation that the two of you are in a very powerful place again. Let's look at the energy of advice for you. And then we're going to look at just... We're going to use a Heart of the Fairy Oracle to depict anything that might simply have been unknown to you or something that you need to know in addition to the card spread. Okay, so we have stability. There we go. What did I say? Absolute stability. You know, very strong. With the Strength card and the uh, Knight of Pentacles, That's those, those are absolutely two of the most stable indicators about a relationship. And now we have the Strength card that, that you are strong. Strength card is here twice in this rela relationship reading for you, Leo. Again, I apologize. You'd think Mercury was retrograde the way I'm stumbling over my words, so I do apologize. Anyway, I'm having a good time with you. Oh, my God. The Magician card. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that moon. I think that you may take a moonlight walk with this person. I feel as though the holidays are going to be magical. It's a time of enchantment. It's a time of something that's just very, very exciting for you. Let's see what we have here for the Heart of the Fairy Oracle. This is such a comeback relationship reading. You've both loved each other tremendously. You've already been in this Ten of Cups energy. You know, things happen, though, and people become fearful. So let's see. Mischief or Mayhem. For about the past, about the future, about now, what is it that you need to know that is unique to the f world of and the realm of the fairies? Okay, so what's the energy? The Lady of Faith. Oh my gosh, 448 stability. 
the lady of faith is all about saying i'm going to take it a day at a time and i have absolute faith in my person loving me and i know they love me and they can do or say whatever they want to but that's you leo that is you lady of faith and that's that strength card that's your energy you're very powerful in this relationship and we have scorpio energy here which i find quite interesting given a certain group of viewers i love and adore so i like that energy for you all right the hero oh 25 7 spiritual energy coming in somebody really coming to the rescue somebody who wants to just show you absolutely how much they love you and they feel as though for some of you that there is the energy of the lady of sorrows so it does look like there are some challenges and i do think you know when i get the four of swords that can be like i said you know a card of some some physical issues uh, but we're seeing that your person wants to be the hero. They, they want to support you totally. They adore and love you. Leo, thank you so much for your time. Sending you love from Chicago. Please tell me where you're from, where you're watching this video from around the world. And uh, let me know what you think of the reading. Is there a part that resonates? Uh, or anything that you'd like to see on the channel. I'm always open for suggestions. Thank you so much. Sending you love. Bye-bye.